So today's linear algebra problem that we're going to be solving is for what value of C do the following matrices commute? So we're trying to find a value of C, a real number C, such that when we take this matrix A, negative 4C to negative 4, 0, um, and we have this matrix B, 1, 2, negative 4, negative 2, we want to find C such that these two matrices commute. So first of all, what does commute mean? Um, Remember the definition of commute is two matrices commute if when you multiply A, B in that order, so you do the multiplication A times B, this gives you a new matrix. Um, they commute if you do the multiplication in the reverse order, so you do the multiplication B times A, and this matrix gives you the same thing. So that's what commute means if you multiply them one way um, and in the other way, so with the other order, you get the same answer. So, um, first, how we're going to do this problem is first we're going to um, find what this matrix AB is, right? Then find what the matrix BA is, so do the multiplication with our matrices A and B here. And then set those matrices equal to each other so that we can find the value of C that makes that work. So, um, here are matrices A and B. So first, if we do the multiplication A times B, this is going to be, so actually I'll just copy, I'll just copy down. So A, the matrix A is negative 4C to negative 4, 0, and the matrix B is 1, 2, negative 4, negative 2. So when we multiply these two matrices together, um, we first take this entry times this entry, so negative 4C times uh, 2 times negative 4, sorry, plus 2 times negative 4, so minus 8, right? And then in this second entry here, we do the dot product of this first row in matrix A and the second column in matrix B. So we do negative 4C times 2 is negative 8C. Um, and then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 right? And so then in this third entry here, we'll do negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and then um, 0 times negative 4 is 0. So then the final entry, we get negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and then 0 times negative 2 is 0. So that's the matrix AB. And so the next thing we have to do is find the matrix BA. So our matrix BA, when we do the multiplication in reverse order, um, matrix B times matrix A, which is negative 4C to negative 4 is 0. So when we do this multiplication, in the first entry here, we're going to get 1 times negative 4C, so negative 4C, and then 2 times negative 4, so negative 8. And then in the second entry over here, we're going to get 1 times 2, so 2, and then 2 times 0, so just 0 there. Then um, in this third entry here, we'll get negative 4 times negative 4c, so positive 16c. And then this entry times this entry is negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And then in the last entry here, we're going to get negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and then uh, negative 2 times 0, that's just 0. So here's our matrix BA. So the last thing we have to do is just set the matrices AB and the matrix BA, set those equal to each other to find our value of C that we need. So here's the matrix AB from earlier, um, and if I just copy down, here's the matrix um, B A. So, right, so we've set, we've set these matrices equal to each other. How we're going to find this value of C is by, um, using this information. So remember, if you have two matrices that are equal to each other, what that means is that, well, that can only happen if each of the corresponding entries in those matrices are equal. So if the first entry, the top left entry, equals the top left entry over here, etc. This entry equals this entry here. So we're going to use that information. If we just look at this uh, first top left entry, we get negative 4c minus 8 equals uh, negative 4c minus 8. And you're like, okay, wait, hmm, if I think about this for a second, um, 
this equation isn't actually telling us anything about what value, what, what our value of C has to be, because actually any value of C here would make these two expressions equal, right? Because anything I plug in for C here, um, I would plug in on the right hand side. And since they're equal expressions, any value of C would work. So we can, that's okay. We can use information from the other entries of our of our matrices here. So let's look at the second entry here. So negative 8c minus 4 and 2. So these have to be equal. So I'm going to set them equal. Negative 8c minus 4 equals 2. And so now if we solve for c, if we move this 4 over to the other side, we get negative 8c equals 6. And then uh, divide both sides by negative 8, we get c equals negative 6 over 8, or c equals negative 3 quarters, right? So that's our value for c. Um, and if we wanted to, we could check to make sure that uh, works out with the last entry here. So if we just look at this entry here, negative 4 and uh, 16c plus 8, we set those equal to each other just to make sure that our value of c is consistent in all the entries so that we get the same value of c. So negative 4 equals 16c plus 8. So then if we move this 8 here over to the left hand side, we get negative 4 minus 8, or same thing, negative 12 equals 16c. And so we divide both sides by 16 and we get c equals negative 12 over 16. And that's the same thing as negative 3 quarters. So that does check out. Everything makes sense. We've got our value of c. Um, and our value of c is negative 3 quarters. And right, this value of c is the only value that would make these two matrices up here, the matrices a and b, commute. So when we multiply a times b, if c is equal to negative 3 quarters, that's the only value that would work um, to get a times b equal to b times a, or for these two matrices to commute.